right, day 26, final week. Let's get it going. My favorite, ROKP. I say it every video. It just absolutely kills me. Here's the finish. I am just so bad at this. It burns so bad um, in such a good way, but it's just, it's pretty hard, yeah? Reverse step ups. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna watch the full set here. So this is progressive overload. So I'm really trying to increase the weight. So I'm going 25 pounds on each side. Um, as you can see, after all of the sets, I'm really hurting. Um, but all the stability that I'm getting, all of that work is really paid off and I think I'm going to regress pretty significantly next week to try to work on form. I do think periodically, and this is my own, from my own experience, that progressive overload does help, um, you know, kind of build. So, you know, it is what it is. You make your mistakes, but you work hard. I think good things end up happening. Actually, low key, one of the hard things to do during this whole exercise with amongst all the sets was to just hold on to the the 25 pound weights for that time. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit here. So look at that toe on the slant board. Um, I know it kind of went by, but really the goal there is to just go straight up through the toes. I am leaning a little bit back there. Um, so the heel will hit before. Yep, see there, that was a good one because you're pushing up through and you don't want that heel to hit. There you go, yep. Listen to me coach myself. But there was a lot of satisfaction when you nail that. Yeah, that's another good one. But again, just, just to hold the balance there. Um, it's just a lot of fun. Yeah, so that one, my toe is actually right on the box exactly where I want it. You don't want your toe any further over the edge. I thought my video editing would be a little bit better than this to give me a little bit more time talking, but that's okay. That is not what I do professionally. Yeah, I'm getting really gassed. There we go. All right, see you to good mornings. Um, so the LA Fitness that I'm working out at does not have 20, like 15 to 25 pound dumbbells because uh, there was a theft in the greater Seattle area um, that took a bunch of those dumbbells away from the company. So the company has not replaced them for months. Thus, you're seeing me utilize literal plates to do my seated good mornings and I wanted to pause there at the end you can see how rounded my back was as I'm finishing that up um, so I don't recommend using plates like that um, but sometimes you have to do what you have to do and then tib raise um, one concept there see how high I'm getting up there and then one thing that I think I need to do actually is instead of having my back against the wall leaning a little bit forward at the hips um, is one of the things that coaches ended up saying. So I need to work on that over time as well. But yeah, right there, you can see the difference between the beginning and the end. Right there is the end on the left. I'm just really hurting to get through those last couple. And uh, yeah, totally gassing out your tibs. All right, everybody. Go sign up for uh, Knees Over Toes Guy over um, at his site and Ben. And yeah, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like. If not, slam that dislike. And if you want to join, go ahead and subscribe. But yeah, I can't believe all the people who have joined along this way. So uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for uh, joining.